In this video, Chintu will set up three simple science experiments using the workstation method. She will set up three workstations and the learners will move from one to the other carefully, observing the experiments so that they can answer the questions related to the experiments at the end of the lesson. As part of the integrated science curriculum, the learners will explore the concept of air and water displacement, which is part of the topic air as a form of matter that occupies space. The learners will need to observe the experiments carefully so that they can answer the questions at the end of the lesson. When I'm, when I'm holding this bottle, when you look at it, what do you see in it? What is in the bottom? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Look at it carefully. Nothing. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Let's see if there's really nothing in this bottle. I want you to look at me carefully. I'm going to dip this bottle in this water. I want you to tell me what's happening. What's happening? What's happening? What, what do you see going on in the dish? It balloons. Balloons? I'll do it again. I want you to look carefully. I want you to tell me what, what's going on. Mm -hmm. What happened? What's that? What's coming up there? Air. Air? Are you sure? Where has the air come from? But you told me there was nothing in the bottle. Okay, very good. So what has happened is, why, why, why do we think that air was coming out? Why was it coming out of the bottle? I can't hear you. The water was going in. So as the water is going in, it's taking out the water, the, the air that is in the bottle. Okay? Yes. That process is called displacement. Okay? Yes. So every time you have water, you, you, you are trying to put water in a bottle in this way, you see bubbles, the bubbles coming out are being displaced by the water that is going in. So when we do that again, you see that we now have some water yes. in the bottle. Before there was nothing, yes. there was just air and that air came out and now we have water. Okay? Yes. All right, fantastic. So we're going to have one of your friends to try and do it again, okay? Yes. Okay, so try and do it. Okay, so this water, keep doing it, keep doing it. This water is going into the bottle and pushing out the air. So in this activity, we're going to do yet another cool experiment. Okay, what do I have with me? Yes? I have a bottle. I have a straw. What's in my bottle? Yes? Water. I have water. So my bottle is filled up with water. Okay? So in our experiment, I'm going to tilt the bottle and put it in a dish full of water, yeah? Okay, like that. Okay. Now, do you think, or who thinks we can take out this water? from this bottle. You do? How can we take it out? By blowing it. Okay, let's give it a try. Gifts, could you please blow this? Blow into the straw, blow hard. So what is happening is that Gift is blowing air into the bottle and that air is displacing the water. The water is coming out and air is going in, okay? Yes. And we call that displacement. Okay? Yes. Are we done? Yes. Let's lift it up. Let's see if all the water has gone out. Yay! Let's give him a clap. Okay, great. Thank you, Gift. Thank you so much. So in this activity, we're going to find out whether what we're doing here is magic or it's science. Okay? Yes. I have with me a few little items. I have a glass bottle and I have some tissue. This will help us see if this science or this is magic, okay? So I'm going to pass around the tissues. Just have a few. Tell me, is it wet or dry? 
Just pass it around. It's dry. It's dry? Yeah. In the bottle, like that. Can you just have? Thank you. When I put this tissue in this bottle, and I put it in the water, what do we think is going to happen? Yes. It's going to be wet, huh? The tissue will get wet. No? Okay. How many say yes and how many say no? How many say yes, the tissue will get wet? One. Two. How many say no, the tissue won't get wet? And how many say I'm not too sure? It's okay not to be sure. I'm not too sure. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay? So we're going to try this. Chintu invites the group to move on to the third experiment because she wants everyone to be able to see into the bucket of water. She has taken the bucket off the table and put it on the floor. Okay, all the way to the bottom. All right, now let's take it out. We're going to take the tissue out and everybody will fill it and we'll see whether it got wet or dry. Pass it on. <laughs> so, did it get wet or is it still dry? Okay, so what happened there? How come it's still dry? Why didn't it get wet? Because there's water in there. And we put the, the, this thing, the little bottle, in the water. Yes? Because there was, we put it like this, uh -huh. and there was air inside. And there was air inside, okay. So that air prevented the water from going in? Yes. yes. Okay, all right, fantastic. How can we ensure then, or how can we do it in another way to, to prove that if we don't hold it straight up, the tissue can get wet. What can we do? Yes? Like this. Okay, let's give it a try. I'll do it this time. Have a look. So I'll bend the bottle as I'm putting it in the water. Okay. Okay. And we take it out. You see? So what happened there? It's wet. It's wet. So the water went into the bottle and displaced the air. And that is why the tissue is wet. Okay? Yes. All right. Okay, so from the three activities we've done today, we learned one word. Which word did we learn? Yes. Displacement. Displacement. What does the word displacement mean? Sheila? To, to replace something. Okay. Like air. Like air with what? Water. With water. So displacement means to move something from where it is to another place. In, if we take a look at the examples we had today, it was moving air from a bottle into a basin by water. Or moving water out of a bottle by blowing into a straw, blowing air into the straw. Okay? So that is displacement. Moving something from one place to the other and it being replaced by something else. Okay? All right, great. The three simple experiments that Chintu set up using locally found objects, providing her learners with the opportunity to observe and experience for themselves the scientific concepts of air and water displacement. Based on their own observations and experience, they were then able to answer the three questions about displacement.